And then what y'all can do if you wanna, you can um, start playing a steady bass beat like this. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to, once you get the long note on the E, you tend to wanna stop with the thumb, but that's the trick. And watch out, there's a lot of syncopation uh, with the second or the first finger, whichever you use on the second string. Yeah. Also, if you want to play the rhythm part, just go, just go like this. And when the I try, I try to laugh about it. That part, when it comes, it just alternates between C sharp minor and B. Minor. I have to say, uh, when you go back from D to A, this whole lick, it's uh, very good for coordinating your left and right hand, of course, and you know, making sure you release the pressure once you like. So I'm not muting with this hand, with the right hand, I'm muting with the left hand. For all you beginners, you know, it's gonna be difficult but very rewarding in the end. And another thing, I want to go back to the intro melody. Uh, once, so you're gonna figure out if you play the E here, you can play it on the open string. So that could be like a, an alternative thing you could do. Well, not here because you're barring this chord, but you can not bar and then just figure out how to these it's a dissonant uh, major second intervals sounds cool a different sound and then this stays the same and then when you go to D you can not bar here but you can just play the open D and then just play with one finger here on the first fret uh, first string uh, fifth fret but you got to do this I guess because it's easier Again, you're like the train on the tracks, and your tracks are the fifth and the second strings. So yes, stay tuned for more, and goodbye.